you've joined us on Starting Up. Now, very often we get emails from you guys asking about startups that we featured here over the course of the last 100 episodes. Well, we decided to take stock of things, go ahead, catch up with some of them, find out if they've raised customers, funds, or perhaps even shut shop. So, they caught up with one of the first few startups that we featured here on the show. Yes, Tanya, I'm at the Institute of Chemical Technology, home to the labs that gave birth to Haika, the first startup that ever got featured on Starting Up. When I met them two years ago, they had a working prototype of a low cost water treatment technology that could disrupt the sector and really change lives. Let's see how far they've progressed in their journey. Yup, Haika, the startup on the show that was inspired by the working of a snapping shrimp. The shrimp kills its prey by the bursting of bubbles. The simulation of the same is used to kill microorganisms with water. When we covered them on the show over two years ago, Haika had two applications, that were in ballast water treatment and cooling water plants. A lot has changed since. To get uh, a reflected glory from the Economic Times brand, it helped, uh, helped us uh, to meet uh, open doors with the investors, open doors with the customers and all sorts of uh, people who we wanted to meet. It just uh, made us uh, that much more uh, viable. The four applications which got added to the basic two applications of ballast water treatment and cooling tower treatment, one was uh, the synthesis of nanoparticle, second was enhancement in the biogas generation based on the digestion, third was online mixing of petroleum feedstock as well as processed petroleum products and fourth was the potable water disinfection using a hand pump device modified to include cavitating device as an integral part of the hand pump. With the sourcing of land in Patal Ganga close to Mumbai, the big challenge they were facing of acquiring land for the plant has now been overcome. They expect to have a fully working plant by March 2012. With six applications and over nine customers, the Haika bubble is all set to soar. Over now to Surbi, who's catching up with the iProf team in Delhi. Thanks, Sudhir. I'm here at the office of iProf, a startup we featured in 2009. When we covered the startup, they had 20 study zones and 40 employees. Let's see how much has changed since then. Started in 2009, iProf, a tablet that digitized the learning modules into video lectures, has been increasing both its reach and its study zones. With a fresh round of investment and 150 employees, iProf now plans to reach to international shores. Since the last time we were featured on Starting Up, we have partnered with organizations such as HCL, such as uh, Advanced Innovations and Samsung to get a different variety of products to the market. The world's most respected venture capitalist firms have vetted our business model and have invested six million dollars. So this new fund has given us a lot of muscle power to spread very fast. The company now expects to have 150 study zones very soon. We wish iProf all the very best in their future growth plans. Let's see what Dhwani is up to. Thanks, Survi. Now I'm at the office of Inkfruit, a startup that we met up with way back in April 2009 when their t-shirts were sold in about 125 retail outlets and they had about 18 employees. Well, let's find out how much has changed ever since. So, Kashyap, how much have you really grown since you were featured on Starting Up? Right, so uh, we were featured on Starting Up way back in 2009 and uh, over the last two years it's been very, very exciting for us. Uh, at that point in time, I remember we were a team of about 18 people and uh, today we are a team of 70, so it's, it's come a long way. Uh, at that point in time, we had about 120 retail outlets in the main cities. Today we supply to over 550 retail shops across the country. And uh, to top it all off, uh, in 2010, towards the end, we actually closed the first uh, institutional funding round for the company. When we got covered with starting up, we saw two kinds of uh, responses. One was it had a huge impact on our business partners. So suddenly there were printers who actually saw us on TV and saw the entire Inkfruit model being played out in front of their eyes. And they suddenly felt that, okay, this is much, much larger than uh, what, what we th thought it was. So uh, what are Inkfruit's uh, growth plans? 
what's the way ahead to start off with we'll be launching uh, merchandise in the space of footwear we'll be launching flip flops after that canvas shoes uh, we'll also be launching a lot of products in the bags space so we'll be launching laptop bags sling bags so a lot of exciting stuff uh, the basic idea is that anything any kind of uh, merchandise where designs can make a difference infro to want to be there Okay so lots of fancy and exciting stuff coming your way from Ink Fruit we wish them all the very best over to Davina who's apparently feasting on some delicious coco berry ice cream thanks so much Dwani i'm here at coco berry a startup that debuted on the show early in 2009 and have since expanded from 5 to over 30 outlets across the country looks like the yogurt business is doing well let's see how much has changed for them since and if that yogurt still tastes as good as it did 2 years ago yes coco berry the pioneers of frozen probiotic yogurt in the country when we featured them early in 2009 we were taken in by the different flavors and toppings they had on offer clearly we were the only ones we have grown from 6 uh, outlets when we were featured uh, the first time on starting up to about 30 plus outlets in five cities our uh, hope is to enter at least 9 to 10 cities in the next 18 months in india and also grow the brand internationally we will also be launching very soon a range of coco berry products in the fmcg segment Foray into the FMCG sector and the creation of a health food brand is next in store for Coco Berry. We wish them the very best. Well, lots to look forward to then. We'll say bye, but before we go, don't forget you can write into us and starting up at etnow.tv. Remember, entries for our Super Angel series are on. We'll wait to hear from you. With that, we'll say bye, but before we go, as we say every week, remember there's never a better time than now. to go out there and start up.